What's going on everybody? Afflicted Gamer here. Welcome back to another Division 2 video. So today is Wednesday, October the 2nd, and they just had the state of the game for this week. I'm going to go over a quick summary of everything that they talked about to save you guys roughly an hour of time, unless you do want to watch the full live stream over on YouTube or Twitch. So first up, <clears throat> in terms of the apparel event, they know that keys are not dropping as intended. They're working on a fix, and they will get back to us with that. Expeditions will be returning alongside TU6 on October the 15th. Expeditions will work slightly different now compared to before. So what will happen is they will be live for two weeks and then they will go offline for one week, back online for two weeks, offline for one week, and they will continue on that same rotation. Every time Expeditions are live, you do have a chance to earn the diamond back again. So if you have multiple characters, you can get one for each character if you desire to. On top of that, for those of us that have already completed the expeditions on story mode, we will get higher difficulties added in that we can choose to run if we want to, normal and challenging. If we complete the expeditions within a certain time frame, we are actually going to be awarded a star, like a bronze star, a silver star, a gold star. There's no specific reward tied to how well you do, but I guess you do get some bonus loot at the end. So there is that change. We're getting two new invaded missions. The first one is Camp White Oak, which, yes, sounds really strange, but I think it'll be pretty cool. They said that even though Camp White Oak is already Black Tusk, it will make sense that it becomes evaded when we watch the cutscene. So I'm really looking forward to that. The second one will be the Manning National Zoo, and the zoo will become a full-blown stronghold. So I cannot wait for that. Furthermore, talking about the Manning National Zoo, if anybody's familiar with the owls and the secret puzzle that was in, I believe it was District Union, there's a boss in the Manning National Zoo that you can find right now that is somehow tied to that. Apparently, nobody has figured this out, or if they have, they haven't posted it anywhere because they were talking about it on State of the Game. Uh, I forget the guy's name that was on there today, the guy with the nail polish. He said he couldn't find anything anywhere. So this is the clue if you see yourself in a football field length of nothing start looking there's apparently nothing to physically interact with but there are some things that will stand out once you see a certain amount of them it spawns a really mean boss this boss doesn't drop anything unique or special just regular loot like we're getting now but i guess it would be pretty cool to find this boss and see what they're all about and why they're there. All right, in terms of the shepherd system, from now on, whenever you accept a call or you make a call, both people will be awarded with XP. After roughly 10 minutes or so, that's when you get your first endorsement. And when you are done helping out one player and you go to the next one, the XP bar that will now fill up will start over, but your overall rank will carry over for your overall shepherd rank. Basically, it's so that people don't get screwed out of the help that they're giving to other people. That's the simplest way to put it. Named items. From now on, whenever you complete Tidal Basin during the weekly invasion for the first time, you are guaranteed to get a named item. On top of that, the first time that you uh, complete a heroic mission, you are also guaranteed to get a new named item. They've upped the chances of getting exotic drops from heroic missions, and they've even put in a chance to get exotics to drop from literally anywhere in the open world. Meaning, if you do a public execution, if you kill a red bar enemy south of the White House or anywhere on the map, you actually do have a chance, a low one, but a chance at getting an exotic to drop. So I think that that's a pretty nice change. It'd be pretty cool if you're just on your way to a safe house or to tie something up for a project. You kill an NPC on the way and an exotic drops for you. So, but yeah, there you have it, guys. That's everything that is coming so far that we know to TU6. Next week on State of the Game, they will be discussing all of the narrative content. So the missions and all that cool stuff that we will be getting as well. So stay tuned for that. But... October the 15th, that's when it sounds like we will be getting TU6. They didn't say anything about early access or anything like that because season pass owners are supposed to get everything a week early, but we'll see if they talk about that next week. But 
for now that's everything for me guys drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it leave your thoughts and comments down below don't forget to consider subscribing for more division 2 content and follow me over on twitter at afflicted gamer other than that i will see you guys very soon in the next video or in the next live stream